Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this video. If this is your first time watching me, hi, hello, my name is Lee Dixon. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Today I'm doing this really pretty demonic makeup for you. Stay tuned if you want to see how I did it. Oh, look at that, so pretty. Obviously, I started off looking quite a bit nicer. I put on a white wig. These are the horns that I used. I bought these a couple years ago from a Halloween store. They were pretty plain and boring prosthetic when I bought them. So I ended up painting them with a mix of different kind of paints. And then I actually sealed them with clear nail polish, stuffed them with cotton balls, and then glued cheesecloth to the bottom and sewed a hair clip onto it so that I could easily clip them into my hair or a wig, whatever I was wearing. So here what I'm doing is clipping the horn onto the top of my head and then using a piece of this wig, what I'm doing is backcombing it to create a little bit more texture and grip and then wrapping it around the horns. What this does is one, hold the horns in place and two, it hides all of the seams of the horns so that they look a little bit more realistic. Honestly, I think it just looks pretty badass with the hair wrapped around too. I used a couple of bobby pins to secure those horns into place and then tied the wig back for the rest of the makeup. I'm doing a brow block for this and I feel like I'll be doing quite a few brow blocks throughout this holiday Halloween season. This is pretty simple. I'm just layering glue stick on top of my eyebrows in order to hide them. If you want to watch my other videos, I go into a little bit more depth about this process. Then to correct and conceal those brows, I'm taking a peach toned color corrector. This hides the darkness of the brows a little bit better and I'm applying that with a foundation brush on top. Next, I'm taking a full coverage foundation stick. This is a shade that matches my skin tone and I'm applying this all around the outsides and shadow areas of my face. Then what I'm doing is taking a white full coverage foundation and I'm applying that to the rest of my face. The reason that I'm using two different shades to do this is because I feel like when you use just white, it ends up being really stark and it looks super fake. So if you use a mix of white and your natural skin tone and then blend them together, it just looks more realistic. It looks more believable. So I applied that with a foundation brush and then now I'm buffing it all out and blending it into the skin with another denser brush. Obviously I put that onto my neck and chest as well because you know you got to keep things cohesive. Got to match your neck. I ended up applying a bit more of that foundation right over top of my eyebrows just to take out the darkness of the brow hair a little bit more and highlight the area. Jumping into contouring, I'm using a cream stick this is like a mauvey, rosy color. I'm applying that all over the contour areas of my face, on my cheekbones, underneath my jawline, all around the eyes, my temples of my forehead, and I'm blending into the wig line. I'm lifting up my wig to blend in there even better. And I'm also applying this at the inner corner of my eye and then with a smaller brush, my lower eyelids, as well as my nose contour. And then I did some kind of like teardrop-esque drips and my chest and my neck, like I said, keeping things cohesive, gotta make it all look good. Once I was happy with that cream product, I set it with a translucent setting powder. This just keeps everything in place. To build up those shadows even more, I'm using eyeshadows. This is the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette and I'm applying this over top of everywhere that I put that cream contour. Using multiple layers for this process really helps to add dimension and, I don't know, just make everything look better. With a more raspberry tone shade, I'm again deepening up all those areas, adding a little bit more product, blending out. This you really just have to eyeball and kind of feel for yourself how much depth you want, how you know dramatic you want to go. You could always add black eyeshadow in here too if you wanted to get even darker, even spookier. I kind of like the soft pinks. I thought it was sort of nice and I don't know, I kind of wanted my demon to be like soft and creepy, you know? Then with a white eyeshadow, I'm highlighting. So I'm putting this on top of the brows, my nose, my cheekbones, everywhere that I really want to be very predominant and stand forward in the light. For the lips, I'm using three different liquid lipstick shades. This first shade is Lolita from Kat Von D and it's a very kind of rustic rosy color. And I'm blending that out with my finger. I'm definitely not keeping this within the lines of my lips. I'm smudging it all over the place, even using a brush to blend it out to make it really soft. 
The next shade is Exorcism, also by Kat Von D. I'm doing that same process exactly all over again, blending it out, smudging it out, you know, making it nice and, uh, and messy. The last shade I'm using is Witches, again by Kat Von D. And I'm applying this to the very inside of my mouth. I wanted to make sure to keep this pretty small and pretty tight to the inside, just blending it out a little bit more. All right, so this is where we start getting really nice and creepy. This is Ben Nye Black Tooth Color. This works best when your teeth are already dry, which is why I used a Kleenex there to, I don't know, wipe off all of the saliva that was on my teeth. Also a warning, if you have veneers or any kind of dental appliance, you definitely don't wanna use this because it will stain your veneers. Moving on, I'm doing all sorts of gross stuff. This is Krylon Eye Blood, and I'm a baby, so I had to get my boyfriend to help me put this into my eye because I just suck at doing drops. Look how beautiful that is. Just a really great wedding look. All kind of comes together at the end with the blood. The weirdest part about this is that you can actually see red when it's in your eyeball. Last but not least, this is Ben Nye Stage Blood in zesty mint flavor. I can assure you it does not taste that good. Oh, that drip. Look at that drip. Hang on, let's watch that again from a different angle. Oh, baby. And that's it. This is my demonic succubus makeup tutorial. I really hope you guys like this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.